Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohammed Ali, and in the previous tutorial, as you know that we have add products. I mean, now a user is able to add products to the cart. Now, in this tutorial, we will be uh, allowing the user to edit the cart, or you can say delete some products from the cart. So yeah, let's go to the Android Studio, and uh, here in our on start method, when we say that is on bind view holder. So you can say holder dot item view, which means that if the user click on any product, I mean on any cart product, then what we want to do. So you can say set on click listener new on click listener, and in here we are going to create a dialog box which will have two buttons or you can say two options: edit and remove. So for that we can simply say char sequence options and make sure to put these presses okay new char sequence to curly press and uh, make sure to put semicolon here and in here we are going to write the two options which this dialog box will contain so the first one will be inside this double quotation we can say edit comma sorry after that comma and the next one is will be the delete or you can say remove I mean any uh, name you want to give to the second option and after that we can simply say alert dialog dot builder let's give it name as builder equals to new alert dialog dot builder pass the context which is our cart activity sorry cart activity dot this now let's set a title for our this dialog box so the title for this will be let's say cart options after that now we can set a click listener on these two buttons or you can set these two options that is when a user click on edit and on the remove button so the index number of this edit is 0 and the remove button is 1 so we can simply say builder dot set item pass the options to it comma new dialog interface dot on click listener and this method will be created with zone click make sure to put a semicolon here and now inside this method you can see we have this int i which will uh, tell us the position or you can set index number of these two buttons okay and we have dialog interface with the object of which is dialog interface so here we can simply say if i become equals to zero that is if the user click on edit button then we are going to send the user to the product details activity so we can simply say intent equals to new intent cart activity dot this and send the user to the product details activity dot class before we proceed let me tell you we are going to send the user from the cart activity to the product activity and on the product activity we will display only that specific product on which the user will click on the cart uh, list activity basically I mean on the cart activity okay so we need to go to the product details activity and here you can see when we were working on the home activity where a user click on the only product on the home page then uh, at that case we are sending the user to the product details activity and we created a product uh, d string type variable which received the id from the home page or you can say from the home activity and it is by the name pid so we will do the same thing here and also make sure to use the same name which is PID okay here now I mean we can simply say intent dot put extra and here this name I mean okay make sure to use the same name which is PID okay and here we can simply pass that name okay and now to get the ID we can simply say model dot get PID so whenever the user click on any product on the cart activity so you can get the specific ID by this model dot get PID then we can simply say start activity and we can pass the intent to it and the next option is the remove so we can simply say if 
i become equals to 1 if a user click on the remove button here we need a reference to the uh, cart list okay so let me check we have already created that reference okay which is by the name cart list reference to the cart list parent node so we can say cart list reference dot child and the child is the user view dot child prevalent dot current online user dot get phone dot child products dot child and here we need to pass that specific id which a user want to remove from his cart list so you can say model dot get pid dot remove value dot set sorry dot add on complete listener new on complete listener and make sure to put a semicolon here and once that item is deleted then we can say if task is successful then we can simply say display a toast message a simple toast message uh, that should tell the user item removed we can say or deleted and if it is removed successfully then we will send the user to the home activity so for that I am going to simply copy paste this intent here after this uh, toast message you can paste that and remove this intent also change this product details activity to home activity yeah that's it now we can simply test our app to see if it is working or not so the app is running now successfully now let's go to the cart activity and now I'm going to click on this MacBook Pro and the alert dialog not display because we forgot to write here I mean after this you can see we have this if statement and then we have this uh, curly brace which is the on click okay so this is basically the I mean after this one which is our dialog I mean this alert dialog dot builder curly brace which finish here okay so after this curly brace and this semicolon you can simply type builder dot show that's it now let's run it again so the app is running now successfully let's go to the cart activity and now let's click on macbook pro here you can see cart options edit remove let's edit this iphone x first of all let's check the quantity is 5 ok and you can see this and now I'm going to edit here we go it sends us to the product details activity and now I'm going to change the product quantity to 3 ok and then I will again click on add to cart if I go back to the cart uh, activity so here you can see iPhone X quantity equals to 3 so I mean we can edit now the product successfully now also let's change I mean let's remove this MacBook Pro from the cart that is let's say if a user do not want to purchase it so the user will simply click on this remove button and here you can see it is deleted successfully and it says item removed successfully if we go back to the cart activity here we go MacBook Pro is deleted successfully from the cart so now in this way you can edit and remove the cart items on the cart activity so yeah that's it for this video and in the next video we will further proceed and we will work on the final I mean if a user place the final order that is we will the admin will ship the products etc to the user home address so in the next video we will be working on that so if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel coding cafe thumbs up for this video and see you guys in the next video bye for now